what happens to the pathological narcissist as they age? As pathological narcissists age, several changes can occur that often make their behavior more challenging and difficult for those around them. Aging can worsen their traits, especially as their sources of validation, power, and control begin to diminish. Here are some common outcomes for narcissists as they grow older. Number one, loss of power and influence. Narcissists thrive on admiration, control, and a sense of superiority. As they age, they may lose their physical attractiveness, career status, or social influence. And these, for the narcissist, are key sources of narcissistic supply. Without the validation they once received, they often become more bitter, frustrated, and angry. This loss can intensify their need to manipulate or dominate those around them. Number two, increased dependency. Many narcissists struggle with aging because it forces them to rely on others for support, whether emotionally, physically, or even financially. This dependence can cause significant distress for them as they view needing help as a sign of weakness. As a result, they oftentimes become more demanding, critical, or even emotionally abusive towards those that they depend on. Number three, worsening of narcissistic traits. As their ability to control or impress others decreases, older narcissists often become more entrenched in their negative behaviors. They may become more manipulative, self-centered, and spiteful, as they try to compensate for their declining power. Their inability to accept their aging process can lead to more extreme attempts to maintain control and assert superiority. Number four, loneliness and isolation. Narcissists often alienate friends, family, and loved ones due to their toxic behaviors. As they age, this alienation can leave them increasingly isolated. While they may once have been able to charm or manipulate people into staying close, their lack of empathy and demanding nature often drives others away. This isolation can lead to deep resentment, depression, or even paranoia. Number five, physical and mental decline. Aging narcissists may have difficulty coping with the inevitable physical and mental decline that comes with aging because they tend to place a high value on appearance, status, and control. The loss of physical vitality or cognitive function can be particularly devastating to pathological narcissists. Many pathological narcissists struggle with their mortality and may go to great lengths to avoid confronting the reality of aging. Number six, failure to self-reflect or change. Unlike people with more flexible personalities, most pathological narcissists lack the capacity for genuine self-reflection or personal growth. Even as they age, they are unlikely to develop the empathy or insight needed to change their behaviors. Instead, they may continue to blame others for their problems and focus on protecting their fragile ego, leading to continued dysfunctional relationships. And finally, number seven, rejection of mortality. For many narcissists, Confronting their own mortality is unbearable. They may deny or avoid the realities of aging, obsess over maintaining a youthful appearance, or project anger onto others. In some cases, they may turn to unhealthy coping mechanisms like excessive vanity, addictions, or medical procedures to avoid dealing with their decline. In summary, 
Aging tends to amplify a narcissist's worst traits, leading to increased bitterness, isolation, and frustration as their sources of validation diminish. This makes it even harder for them to maintain healthy relationships and cope with the realities of life as they grow older. Remember, if you're dealing with a pathological narcissist, it is important that you implement firm boundaries. When you establish boundaries, you take a stand for your own emotional and mental health. They give you the space to process your trauma, reconnect with yourself, and develop healthier patterns in future relationships. Boundaries are an essential tool in your healing journey, allowing you to protect yourself reclaim your self-worth, and create healthier, more balanced relationships going forward. If you'd like to learn more on how to protect yourself against these toxic personality types, ensure that you are subscribed to the NART Dojo YouTube channel. Sheikah Zanaim, thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next video.